Welcome to White Lecture Online. In this video, we're going to try to find the potential energy required or the work required to put two charges five meters apart, one charge being six microcoulombs, the other charge being four microcoulombs. So what is the potential energy of that system? The same as what is the work that it takes to put those two charges close together. The way to do that is in multiple steps. The first thing we're going to do is place one charge where it's located, but we're leaving the other charge out of it. And we're going to calculate the voltage at that particular location. Now we've learned how to do that. That's the potential due to a single point charge. So we can say that V is equal to K times Q1 divided by R1. So in this case, that's going to be equal to 9 times 10 to the 9th times 6 microcoulombs, 6 times 10 to the minus 6, divided by 5, and that's going to be in terms of volts. So when we calculate that, see here we get uh, 54, that would be 54,000, divided by 5, which is 10,800 volts. So the potential at that location is 10,800 volts. Now, what we're going to do is calculate the work it's going to take to put the second charge at that location where the potential is this. And what we can do there is say that the work is equal to the potential of that location times the charge you're going to place there. Now, what the, where this came from, I'm stumbling over my words here, but where this came from was from the definition that the potential is equal to the work done to place a charge there divided by the size of the charge. So simply solving this for the work done, it's voltage times the charge. And in this case, the voltage at that location is 10,800 volts. And the charge that we're going to place there is 4 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. And coulombs times volts is indeed joules. Now with the calculator, we have 10,800 times 4e to the 6 minus, and this is going to be 0 0.0432. So that's 0 0.0432 joules, which is the work that it takes to put the second charge in that location. Now for the potential energy of that system. First of all, during step one, since we just put one single charge there, it takes no work at all to place it there. There's no potential anywhere else nearby, no electric fields. So the potential energy for step one is equal to zero. Now the potential energy for step two, that's equal to the work done to get the second charge there, which is going to be equal to 0 0.0432 joules. So the total potential energy for the the two steps combined is going to be potential energy 1 plus potential energy 2, which is going to be 0 plus 0 0.4, oh, no, I'm missing a 0 here, 0 0.0432 joules, which is going to be equal to 0 0.0432 joules. So I added a few extra steps here, but it was there for a reason to see how we typically calculate the potential of a system of charges placed close together. It takes no energy, no work at all to put the first charge there, but to put the second charge there, now it's going to be the product of the voltage created there by the first charge times the charge of the second charge put in that location. And that's how you can calculate the potential energy or the electrical potential energy of a system of charges. That's how it's done.